Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is the interview question of the day. So there can be many situations when you need to disable the trigger in the production during the data migration, during the debugging, during the data load. So there can be many situations where we need to do that. So question is what are the different ways by which you can disable the trigger in the production? Now. To answer this, there are multiple ways we can do that. In fact, in one org, I have seen that developers used to comment out the code written inside the trigger and save that. Of course, that is not a good approach, but then you can use custom settings. You can use the Boolean flag to do that. You can use custom metadata. You can make it user driven or you can write your trigger in such a way that you check a couple of conditions and then based on the user, you do that. What I want from you is that if you have used this in your projects what were the ways you have tried and what according to you is the best possible way to do this i'll wait for your realistic answer realistic answers in the comment box thank you